Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York and I want to talk about New York. <laughs> Every time I watch the news, which I don't I watch or hear anything news. about the news, they say New York, New York, New York is got that, if you listen to Liddy, Liddy Mick, MC, Liddy uh, Mac, Mick, I don't know how she would do it. It's just at Liddy and then MC. If you listen to her, it's called the Green Ball. That's what I'm going to call it, the Green Ball. They talk about the Green Ball. You know that Green Ball? <laughs> that thing going around. That thing going around. Well, they talk. When they talk about it, they make it sound like all of New York is ill. Well, Western. Uh, I want you to know, New York has 62 counties, and in 62 counties. We're not all ill. In fact, I live in an area that has eight counties. Let me show you what I live in, the eight county area. And in my eight county area, this is the eight county area. Whoops, we'll do it like that, I think. This way you see it. Okay. Not everybody is sick, but you see the green one? That's where it is. Yeah. And the rest of us, well, there might be a one or two in some of the others, but my county, zero, has the green ball. We don't have it at all. And so, I just want you to know, in New York, it's not New York. New York is a big place. It's one of the biggest states or whatever has a lot of counties. 62 counties. 62. And I live in an area that has eight considered in my county. Okay. Now, I also, because I want to keep busy, and I watch, I watch Christy, and it's, her name is Okito, okay, I don't know how she oh, says it, oh, it's, oh, it looks like okay, and then Keto, O-H, <laughs> it's like, oh gosh, I'll put these links in the, in the description so you can find them, but anyway, she makes a lot of little, she does testing for patterns. And so, look, I made something. It's not the best. It's the first one I've ever tried. It's cute. It's cute. My kids would like it. It's, um, I don't know. Grandkids will love it. I know. I, stuck, I think it's adorable. But anyway, she makes some really cute things. And then she does a story to go with it. Well, this one doesn't have a story, but I could make yeah. a story. It could, it could have a story. My, my grandkids could write me a story. And then it would have a story that goes with that. But that's what I want. And I um, checked my chicken. I don't have babies yet. She did puff up. When I hear go cluck, 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 that means that they're trying to come out. So she hasn't started that yet either. But that's how you can tell when they're close to, to um, hatching. I really hope that she gets some babies out of these eggs. I didn't get to candle them because of her her temperament. She's not a nice little bird. And to try to get the eggs out when she's not in the nest, I have a brownie on there that is really nasty too. So they were really protecting those eggs. So I didn't candle them. So I don't know whether they were even fertile or not. I know I've cracked a few other eggs when we've eaten eggs, which we eat eggs a lot. And they showed the little, the little bullseye in there that you see. Now, also, I mentioned in yesterday's video about the peepers, and I had a question about the peepers. Maybe others wonder what the peepers are, too, because that's our sign of spring. And the peepers are the little frogs. It's usually the male frog that they do this singing, and what they want is they want the, the girl frogs to lay their eggs. It's time to lay your eggs. It's time to lay your eggs. And the peepers around here actually have to be froze three times. Yep. Yeah, I knew three times. Okay. <laughs> He's raising his fingers like I don't know. I do know. <laughs> <He just, laughs> I'm sorry, but I did know. Um, but yeah, they have to be froze three times. And I don't know if you know it, but frogs and toads hibernate. They actually look dead until it's time for them to wake up. And we also listen, try to wait for the skunk smell. I haven't heard this. I haven't heard. Haven't smelled a skunk yet. I'm waiting for that smell. 
I don't mind it. To me, it smells like bad lemon juice is what it smells like. I don't know what it smells like to you. What does skunk smell like to you? Maybe that should be a question in my video. And if you answer my question, I'll know you watched it. So, and I also checked my mealworms today. I gave them another orange. They like the oranges. I did have Jim buy me some apples for them, but they dry out real fast and they mold pretty fast, where the oranges seem to do better. And I will show you them sometime, but not today. I'm still waiting for some beetles to appear. They say that if the once the beetles appear, if you put them in with a wet paper towel, they'll lay more eggs for you. And they lay more eggs if the temperature is warmer. So let's hope that the temperature warms up around here because they like the temperature to be around, I think it's 80, mm -hmm. I think is what I, I read. I, I, I've got a paper I printed out on the, from the computer, so I would learn about mealworms because I want to know what I have to do for them. And you can add, as long as they have moisture, and I have a, 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 a plastic bag in there right now with a sponge in it that I keep wet so that it adds more humidity because they like a lot of humidity too. The higher the humidity and the warmer the temperature, the better they do. So that's my goal. So let's hope we get lots of beetles because I want the beetles to lay the eggs so that then I get more mealworms. And eventually, when I have tons, I can give them to my chickens, which they, it's like candy. It's like, if you like candy, this is candy to them. So that's, I guess that's all I'm going to talk about today. I hope you had a great day. Um, I stayed home and I, oh wait, I did call my sister. And she says, how's this staying home thing for you? And I says, like always, like, like this is my life. And I go, how is it for you? Because she's one that likes to go out and walk every morning with a group of ladies. And then she likes to go to exercise and she likes to go for coffee. She's a gadabout. I'm not. I'm a stay home kind of person. And she's, she likes to go. Well, she went for a walk outside because I guess it was kind of, she was needing to get out. Whereas I go outside, look at my chickens for a while, and come back in. That's entertainment for me. And we moved the fence because it was muddy. And I guess that's it. What about your daughter? And my her daughter? Past clothes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not done, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daughter, who, who has a beauty shop, she has to close because today was her last day that she could work. They say that if you're running a service business such as a beauty shop or a massage parlor or nails or barber shops, barber shops you can't do your job at six feet away from that client. So they have to close. And so she's going to have to close. And so she will have to call an employment office come Tuesday because of her last name. It goes by your last name. So Emily will call on Monday and Jessica will have to call on Tuesday and Laura probably I don't know whether Laura's still working or not I think she I goes in a little think, bit I think I she's know. still I think they still got her doing because she's making like little videos so that the kids can do the e-learning um, she's she's a assistant teacher for the cosmetology class that I actually was a student years ago many years ago many 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 years ago so now I'm done, right? <laughs> okay. I guess, yeah. I guess. Okay. Well, we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So you have a great night, and I'll talk to you then. Bye. <laughs>